Hello and thank you for watching my video. Today you're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, on a previous video, as you can see, I actually covered the Guild Wars 2 YouTube community content providers and uh, creators out there. And I wanted to do another video looking at some of the different aspects that you may not be aware of. And it's something that I certainly have appreciated doing. So obviously you've got, if you watch this video, you can see all the different YouTubers out there and uh, hopefully this will be a good uh, video for you guys if you haven't seen this already. But there are a num number of different ways as well that you can actually find out more information about Guild Wars 2. For a start, I also did cover the fact that uh, you know we have the Reddit forums which have a lot of different issues, things going on. It's always great to find out some of these different things, you know, different uh, community content out there as well. Things like um, you know people creating fan art, etc. But we also have the main website, obviously, as well, GuildWars2.com, which comes up with a lot of different uh, news and articles. So it's important to keep an eye on that. And we have the official Guild Wars 2 forums, which again are what I initially followed until I was informed about the Reddit forums because I think you get a lot more interaction on the Reddit forums. I mean, there are at least, you know, over 120,000 people subscribed to this forum alone. And usually there are a lot of people online reading up on news. But today I'm going to be covering something different. Today we're going to be looking at Twitch. Now Twitch, for those of you who are unaware what Twitch is, Twitch is a channel that, or a, a sort of a provider of ability to stream gaming content. So here we actually have the main Twitch directory. You can see here, these are all the popular games. You've got things like League of Legends, Hearthstone, Counter-Strike, uh, Global Offensive, Dota, etc, etc. And we have to come down a fair amount before we actually get to Guild Wars 2. Now this is actually the number of play, number of actual uh, streamers online. So at certain times of the day, Guild Wars 2 will actually be up higher than it is now. So we can go and we can have a look. These are the Guild Wars 2 different gamers. These are live channels right now. So you can see all the different channels and all the different streamers. And what they, this tends to be is you can watch Daily Dungeons, you can watch PvP, different people actually playing PvP, World vs. World if you want, and you can see the different strategies and different ways that players actually play Guild Wars 2. And it is actually a very useful idea to actually see how players play the game. Because as a player myself, I always find it interesting seeing how other players play Guild Wars 2, because I'm thinking, well, why are you doing that? And a lot of the time, it may actually be better for seeing how someone does uh, plays a different style, how they have their inventory, their bank, etc. And you think, wow, I should be doing it like that. So today, I'm going to be showing off some of the Twitch streamers. So let's have a look. Uh, a few little ground rules. I'm not including anyone with over, over under, sorry, 2,000 uh, followers because there are a lot of different uh, streamers on uh, Guild Wars 2 Twitch. And I just wanted to highlight some of the better ones. Again, I'm not a big person in the Twitch community. I've never streamed uh, on Twitch. I have had a few requests to stream, and it's something I am going to consider in the future. But again, it does require a lot of time and effort. And at the moment, I'm more focused on creating YouTube videos. So let's have a look at some of the different uh, follow -up, different people. First off, we have Shin, uh, well basically I'm just going to call him Shin, most people do, uh, and this tends to be a PvP or World vs. Welder, um, I'm guessing, yeah, is, you can tell by some of the videos it's mainly World vs. World, but Shin does a lot of interesting video content and he, he does put out some YouTube videos as well, but he tends to be a very regular streamer, you can see almost 18,000 followers, you can look at the price past uh, broadcast, uh, broadcasts to see how long they're online and you can see that they're obviously back in world versus world uh, I think Shin is a big world versus worlder as I said I'm not a big uh, twitch uh, community person so I won't be aware of too many of the channels out there and what they're familiar and what their main thing is but you can see generally look you know a lot of this stuff is PvP world versus world etc etc but obviously you want to look at how often someone streams online and Shin does tend to stream a lot you can see here pretty much every day and that's something that if you follow someone on Twitch it's nice that you could have that schedule and you can follow them uh, every day and see what they're up to and see how they play and they're all obviously they can be a have a good personality as well so we also have Fantaram he's one of the main PvPers in Guild Wars 2 and is very very uh, very good 
uh, 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 player versus player uh, and you can see some of the videos on here you can see some of the past broadcasts he is a member of the Abjured and the Abjured are probably in the top three teams for Guild Wars 2 in the PvP scene probably close to either TCG or the Orange logo and uh, I would say definitely Phantom is a very very good uh, PvP player and it's definitely if you want to learn how to PvP and uh, see watch Phantom he does some very very good content out there and uh, generally you want to watch him he's got almost 14,000 followers so sh showing how you know you can go in and watch some of his stuff again you can watch past broadcasts you can click on there you can see how long he actually is online as well uh, and he has had a he does stuff for a long long time we have Rihanna, who is typically a world versus world uh, player. I've actually watched some of her content, and she's always fun. She's uh, got a great personality. She's always a laugh, uh, and she is a person on Blackgate. So obviously, if you want to see world versus world strategies, watching Rihanna on uh, her Blackgate server, she only does world versus world, so you won't see any PVE or PVP content. But uh, if you want to see how a top tier actual uh, world versus world server works particularly uh, some of the team speak side of it watch Rayana's channel because you will get a very, very good idea of some of the strategies that uh, world versus world commanders use again with uh, just over 5,000 followers we have Bogota who I've covered on my YouTube channel he also does a lot of streaming particularly before or after point of interest or ready up on a Friday to do with the Guild Wars 2 main channel so again it's something somebody you should really keep an eye on he does also Hearthstone as well so he does a mixture of different things you can see in the Brook Pass broadcasts um, we, we don't actually have anything right now he just has the highlight section I think he's been a little bit busy recently but you can see some of his later stuff uh, it was a couple of weeks ago but uh, he does have three and a half thousand. But again, he does YouTube content as well. So it is one of those cross-platform um, sort of cr uh, content creators that you should really, you know, he, he, again, I'll mention this because he did comment this on my channel. He's a big guy in his own right. Then we actually have Calypso, again, one of these sort of uh, PvP or World vs. World channels. A lot of the Twitch channels do tend to be PvP of World vs. World rather than PvE content because that tends to be reserved for YouTube. Uh, you know, it's not really that exciting to watch someone go around a dungeon if you've done it a million times before. And you can see some of the past broadcasts, what they d tend to do. And you can see some of the funny stuff that's going on. Just under 3,000 uh, followers there. So somebody you should keep an eye out as well. Uh, Aurora Peachy again, uh, someone that does uh, different platforms. She does YouTube and does Twitch. And she does Peachy Parties and Guild Gab as well. So a lot of these content you can actually find out, you know, watch when she streams. Uh, I've actually been to a lot of her Peachy Parties where she does giveaways and such. And they're always a fun little uh, thing, thing to go to where you go along and there's lots of people dancing around and giving you food, etc. Um, don't forget the Guild Gab, a lot of these round table type discussions tend to happen on Twitch rather than, uh, you know, they do get put on YouTube, but it's much more fun to watch live because you can get that little bit of interaction by commenting uh, and these uh, guys can actually read your comments. And then we have Malfarian, again, another person that's uh, mainly focused on PvP, uh, although, you know, there are some other content on here. And over four and a half thousand again someone that I really don't know too much about but having just looked did a bit of research this person does appear to be quite good at doing some and showing off some PvP content uh, as well then we have Jebro he's one of the official Guild Wars 2 casters for ArenaNet always puts up the ESL um, you know weekly cup uh, on on his uh, on his uh, streaming channel on Twitch, and so it's always good. And actually, with uh, I think it's Chrono Nick as well, they do a lot of good streaming. And it's always nice to actually watch some of these proper hardcore PVP matches on Jebro's Twitch channel. So something that you should keep an eye out. Uh, definitely recommend subscribing because he always tweets as well. If you want to follow him on Twitter, uh, that you can actually he notifies you when there's a match going on. So you do get some interesting matches going on there. They don't tend to be too long, you know, not, not as lengthy as some of the other content. Again, if you're looking for actual descriptions of what things are going on in the game, the Jebro is someone you should really uh, actually uh, follow on Twitch. Then we have Lord Helseth, probably, I, I would say, close to the best Mesmer in-game right now. 
Uh, there really isn't anyone that I, I find knows Mesmer as intensely as uh, Hellseth. His YouTube channel is, or his Twitch, I've seen a couple of his streams. They are pretty funny, some of his stuff. He is a little, you know, he does really like to rub it in a lot in certain places. But uh, yeah, generally, he is someone that is very, very good at Mesmer. And if you want to see someone very, very good at Mesmer, watch his Twitch channel. You will see some of the stuff that he gets up to. And, you know, generally he's very active in the community on Reddit and, uh, you know, in Twitch. You'll see him a lot in the Guild Wars 2 streams, commenting if there's anything to do with Mesmer. But again, uh, someone that is very, very good in the PvP community that you should keep an eye on. And if you're a proper Mesmer player, then this is the guy that you should really follow. One of the other major Twitchers or Twitch streamers is Sir Kuroshi and you can see here he's got a big following. He's also got uh, many different high sort of uh, visuals. He does a few other different games as well, but he does a lot of PvP, uh, map completion, and someone you should he does stream regularly, so you should keep an eye on Sir Kuroshi because you will see a lot of different things that he does on his channel. Uh, both in PvP, World vs. World, a lot on Engineer as well, and how to counter things, for example. Another one as well, if you may have seen one of my other videos looking at uh, Brazil, he is part of the Death or of Taxes clan, and you can see, or Guild, sorry, uh, and you can see here he's got a fair amount of following, he does some YouTube videos as well, but you'll see he does a lot of streaming as well, you can see how regular he actually is, and he does dungeons as well as doing a few other different things like fractals, and it's a very good understanding for those of you who have never done fractals or dungeons regularly, uh, a good uh, person to watch would be Nike because he will go on, you can see just where to stand, what to do uh, when a boss spawns for example, extra spawns, and so watching some of these, these uh, twitches will actually make you a better player. For sure, because you should get a better understanding of where the elite players actually, uh, you know, what they understand and where they go to avoid a lot of the damage and where the best place to cause damage actually is. Sanctuary of Wolves is someone as well that's a lot of PvP. You can see here different NG uh, builds, pistol um, that you've got here. Uh, pistol pistol build sorry uh, and you can see just some of the different videos it's always nice to actually again if you're focusing on ng and you want to look at certain players and how they play in pvp this is some, one of the people that you should keep an eye on and you know over 3,000 followers just watch some of the past broadcasts you can go in and just watch some of their stuff and they will actually show you what exactly and how they play and it should give you a better idea of how to play in pvp because i know there are a lot of players that are a little bit unsure and they should get you know find a build they're still struggling watch some of the better players out there watch some of their stuff on twitch and you will get a decent idea of how to play uh, and finally we have choxy who tends to be a either world versus world or just some unique content uh, and uh, choxy is one of those players that actually plays necro but he, he always finds some like he does a lot of fearing of people of uh you know zergs in edge of the mists uh, and some interesting stuff, particularly some of the spectral skills uh, Choxy does. It, you know, some of the stuff's really, really funny. Uh, so I'd, you know, consider watching Choxy because they uh, stream every day, and that's what you want from a general Twitch streamer, someone that's going to be doing it very regular indeed. So that is some of the different Twitch, uh, you know, Twitchers out there. Obviously, I might not, I might have missed some people that, you know, I'm not too familiar with Twitch. But I wanted to give you guys a idea of what Twitch does. You know, why is this something that you should keep an eye on? Obviously, the Guild Wars 2 channel is something you should keep an eye on as well. And if we actually go to, uh, I think, um, we, if we click on Guild Wars 2, uh, well, we'll go, back, go to the game section. If we click on Guild Wars 2, and I want to try and find the actual um, Guild Wars 2, if we can the actual channel Guild Wars 2. Uh, I'm following them, aren't I? So if I go to my following and my profile, um, who am I following? I'm not even following Guild Wars 2. Okay, well, you have Map Visual as well if you want to follow on um, Visual Wood, but I think they're morely following on YouTube now. Um, yeah, uh, you can follow the Guild Wars 2. So if I search for it as well, Guild Wars 2, if I can spell Guild Wars right. Um, the Guild Wars 2 actually does a lot of streaming particularly on a Friday 
and if you hit, look at the Guild Wars 2 channel, I can't believe I almost forgot this, uh, they have a lot of different class content, particularly to do with uh, ESL, Go, Go For Cups, Point of Interest, uh, again you've got, as you can see here, Bogot is doing this, the pre-show, um, all the points of interest is there, you can keep an eye on some of the stuff on here, you can see as well a lot of the different streamers that, that are listed, listed by Guild Wars 2, you can just go in, you can see some of the stuff on there. So for me, Twitch, again, is something I'm not really uh, into that much. I do follow when I get a tweet from one of the people I follow that they're online. I will log in. But uh, it's something that if I was struggling, I would go and have a look and watch a YouTube uh, Twitcher in action and get some ideas and get some good, you know, the way they actually play the game. I'm hoping this has been a, a little bit of an education for you. I, I feel that, you know, you don't have to be, you know, intensely watch them every day go and give get a feel for them you might find someone that you really gel with and have a good laugh with because these are you know it's a nice community con you know community game guild wars 2 and generally that's pretty much it if you've got any comments if you've got any other people that you suggest to be on my you know any ideas you know or switches out there of guild wars 2 please post them and put them in the comment section below i don't mind that you can do feel free to try and spread the word get more people into twitch and watching some of the guild wars 2 twitches out there uh, and generally thanks very much for watching my video and i'll see you in the next one